Happy New Year, guys, and welcome back to USL Lifestyle. I'm your host, Ayasha Robertson, and I am back in effect in 2022. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about feng shui and how feng shui you can feng shui your house and some tips to feng shui prosperity into your life, even when you're not home as well. Stay tuned. Coming up soon. Hey guys, welcome back. So in 2021, I learned a lot about feng shui. I'm really just a beginner when it comes to feng shui as well. So when it comes to really getting energy and setting the tensions and and just want a lot of positive energy in your house and also around you as well, um, I have a couple of things I want to show you how to feng shui your way into 2022. First, I want to start with a few things. Juniper, bonsai tree. Now, this bonsai tree, I bought it myself. I'm supposed to water it every day um, during the spring, summer, and fall. And during the winter season, it's like maybe once a week because it's colder. Even indoors as well. I just water as needed. Um, if I feel like it's dry, I'm going to water it. Um, this is the plant that you actually keep towards the beginning portion of your household, so the entryway, the doorway of the front door. It helps with protection as well and to bring in prosperity. So this is where I keep that. And then moving on to the money tree. So we all know about the money tree and how prosperous it can be. You can buy a money tree yourself or someone can give it to you as a gift um with my money tree i keep it the southeast um portion of my house and if you can't identify with the southeast portion of your house you can always take a compass on your phone download the app and it'll so show you the southeast corner of your house and that's where i put it and also on my money tree as well um i have uh citrine and um pyrite and both of these are for prosperity and good fortune and money so i put both of those in my tree i water it once a week and those are the things that you can use for your house as well and also i have a fountain i have a little fountain that i have inside the house that helps with bringing in energy and prosperity as well i put that in the northeast corner of my house I think it's the northeast corner of my house. And in the fountain itself, I put 27 cents in it as well. And that helps bring prosperity and energy. And then also in the kitchen, I have a rosemary tree, which helps get the energy of my of my kitchen very prosperous. Um in Feng Sui, it says the kitchen is where you know the energy of money flows so the stove the the counters and things of that nature so i just like to have that energy flowing as well also too when it comes to feng shui when it says where you put your laundry at now i know most time people put their laundry in your bedroom i used to as well but according to feng shui you should put it not in your bedroom you should put it somewhere else so i put it in the hallway um so it clears up energy you know because we, we want energy to flow and it's all about the art of energy and having it flowing so you can have good prosperity energy in your house uh, another good tip for the new year anything that's broken or anything that's leaking inside the house make sure you fi fix it because when you don't fix it that means that that energy of money will just just come out of your house you won't be able to hold on to it so we want you to have the money so make sure you fix any leaking faucets any leaking um sinks in your household so you can have that money come your way so that's all about the household energy needs and this is all about what you can bring with you along your way as you start your day now you see these these are chinese coins so you can actually 
use these coins, put them in your purse. I just put them in my purse. This helps bring prosperity and good fortune as well, and money and wealth. Um, you can also use the same money coins as well to put underneath your mat of your business or of your household, and that helps actually bring abundance. Abundance means everything, so it doesn't have to be just money abundance with everything. Material abundance, things. So that's what abundance means. So then after we have the coins, we have this little coin right here. And this is a feng shui. I actually learned how to do this on a YouTube video. And it's um, this brings wealth and prosperity. And I keep this actually in my wallet. And this is a part of feng shui as well. Now I keep that in the part of my wallet, which is right next to the money. And this is actually a feng shui a uh, hundred dollar bill so you can use this hundred dollar bill as we are in the new year so you can create your vision board and you can add this this adds prosperity um, a lot of people have prayer altars or spiritual altars in your household or little mantles and things of that nature you can put that next to your attention jars if you have an attention jar and that can also bring in prosperity money or you can just put it in your wallet as well now in feng shui it says the black wallet is for um prosperity um, success when it comes to business and the brown wallet is actually for savings as well so brown and black are the wallets that you can get but you of course you can get any color wallets um, when it comes to whatever the energy flows you should go I'm talking about what flows with me and then of course I have some stones that I want to show you guys so we have this is the pyrite, the same pyrite that was in the tree. I carry that in my wallet. This brings prosperity and, the, and good fortune and wealth and money. The same as uh, citrine as well, which was also in the tree. And then, of course, we have the jade, which we know brings prosperity um, as well, good fortune and protection. We have adventuring, which is also for good fortune, prosperity, success. Um and wealth and then we have uh sorry the tiger eye and this is also as we know tiger eye is also for protection but it can also manifest prosperity and good fortune and then we have the malachi and this is for prosperity as well a lot of people use malachi for other things as well but it can also be used for good fortune and success and then last but least we have the amethyst which can also be used for prosperity and success when it comes to attracting money and wealth and prosperity and success into your life. Now, it's all about balance. So, we got to make sure you're balanced and not just attract just the, phys the material stuff, but also the other stuff as well. Love, uh, happiness, joy, peace, health, and all those great things. So, I hope you learned a lot from this feng shui episode and make sure you email me ayasha at urbansocialitesnj.com all your questions about feng shui and make sure you check out our shows on usl lifestyle at www.urbansocialitesnj.com again guys thank you for living your life differently on this episode i look forward to seeing you guys soon take care and namaste